Hi, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to the show. It's time. It's time for another Craft Hour. I'm your host, Jeff Lindbergh, and we at Pink Fresh Studio are so excited to have you. It's a very special day here, and I can't wait to get started. If I'll get my friend Heather, who's moderating in the sky, to give us a hello, and you at home as part of our Pink Fresh Studio audience to check in with me and make sure that I'm sounding good and that you can hear me, that would be fantastic. Again, we're so glad to have you in the show. Welcome, welcome to the Craft Hour. Stick around through the whole episode. Make sure you comment, connect, play along with our games because that will sign you up to get a gift card at the end of the show. We love connecting with you. So many bright new brand new releases are heading its way with Pink Fresh Studio. So having a gift card certainly helps. And hey, while you're at it, could you do me a great favor? Take a moment to share that you're watching the stream. There's lots of ways to do it on YouTube, but you can also just tell your friends on Facebook or Instagram that you're watching the show. You know, the more connection we get, well, the better the show gets and the more followers we get and the more we can do on YouTube. I just recently saw that we hit three, I'm sorry, 1100, no, 11,000 uh, uh, followers. And it's all because of you and your connections, which is fantastic. So, so glad that you're here. Welcome to the craft hour. So let me just explain. Let me just explain. So, you know, dudes craft too. It's this little hashtag that I thought I should come up with just to inspire companies to consider that it's not just a certain demographic out there that they could think bigger and bolder. And I've always loved that Pink Fresh Studio was interested in connecting with dude crafters. And the more that that hashtag became popular, well, the more crafters that I met that were more like me and the more they were introduced into the folds of Instagram and social media. So today is such a big deal because I get a chance to feature a fellow dude. And I know for a lot of you, that's not really a big deal. But if you think about it, what I see on the internet is a lot of a different look. And so for me to have a chance to share the screen with another guy, well, that means the world to me. And I'm so glad that Pink Fresh Studio is leading the way with this work and allowing that to happen. So without further ado, let's meet another dude. Let's meet him. His name is JC Gaspar and you all follow and love him. And I know that I adore him too. And I can't wait to modulate his style today. Welcome to the show, JC Gaspar. Hi, JC. Hey, everybody. Everybody, thanks for tuning in. Yeah, it's a big deal, right? A yeah. lot of your followers, a lot of Pink Fresh Studio fans, who I know people are used to seeing you and your work through the other companies that you work for, but you just joined us at Pink Fresh Studio. Tell us about uh, what you're doing for us right now. Yeah, um, I recently joined for the February release. I did a few of the floral stamps featuring Alex's designs and a lot of the wonderful scripty and airy fonts that Pink Fresh Studio is known for. So yeah, it's been a pleasure to guest design for Pink Fresh. That's awesome. So what do you think that your style is? If people were to ask you what you're drawn to, what is the JC Gaspar style and what can they get by going to your Instagram channel? What inspires you in card making? Yeah, I think of three very simple words. I think of geometric, graphic, and floral. Um, most more notably botanical, sometimes a little bit uh, scientific, but I try to go for a little bit of a realistic and geometric look, something that's inspired by Eastern cultures and stuff like that. Awesome. Where did you get your uh, background? Where, have you, where uh, were you growing up in the craft industry? Where did you start? Yeah, um, I started, well, uh, I think a lot, like a lot of millennials, right? We Google uh, how to make a card. And that was sort of the beginning of the end for me, right? Uh, so Jennifer McGuire, you know, just sort of opened Pandora's box. And I quietly made cards for about five years. I was thanking colleagues over at my medical technology program after I finished. And yeah, you're a science a dude on top of that. Tell us about that too. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, I started making cards, then shared them on Instagram. And that's how, I mean, it very quickly escalated to this point. Um, but yeah, I, my background is in science. Uh, I have my bachelor's in biochemistry, chemistry, and molecular biology. And then I went back to school for uh, medical technology in some states or in Colorado, it's medical laboratory science. Awesome. And yeah. so without getting too much into it, I think that you should be definitely identified as one of those essential workers on the front line of the pandemic, demonstrating that there is science, science matters, and you're part of it. Tell us just a quick highlight of how COVID has changed your work life. Yeah, um, I mean, for the most part, I feel very lucky that I still get to commute, um, that I get to get out of the house and that I've kept my job. Um, 
But my, my role, uh, aside from other scientists, is to, I do work in the department that tests for uh, SARS-CoV-2. So I do test for COVID in my department. And it's been stressful, but I've been trying to keep pretty optimistic, uh, optimistic about it. I'm still very much able to craft with dudes like you, so. That's awesome. And what an outlet this has been is to be able to have the craft industry. So many of us have been able to connect through crafting. And that's why I love that we started this show during the pandemic and our owner, Kennery, and our leaders, Heather and Leah made that happen. So uh, it's a little bit of an escapism. And I hope each of you are enjoying that escapism as the craft hour. We always have some pop culture talk. We definitely socialize and we craft. Today, JC and I are really hitting the Dudes Craft 2 theme just a little bit differently. 2 is typically T-O-O, meaning we do it as well. Well, but today we're doing two, two different makes, two different styles, one hour with Pink Fresh Studio. So I'm going to do one make. I'm going to do it a little bit on my own, which scares me a little bit. I'll talk about colors in just a second. And JC is going to do one as well. So let's head over to our desktop, shall we? JC, you ready, bud? Yeah. Awesome. Let's do it. So I'll go ahead and switch down to my desktop too. Again, you're watching the craft hour. So glad that you're here. We're headed in the direction for me with um, the uh, lovely Choose Hope. That is the uh, way we're headed. I definitely have decided to do that through all of this pandemic. Hope you have too. Um, this design was recently done by Heather uh, on a Facebook Live. So be sure to check that out as well. And then I'm going to do Known and Loved as my sentiment just a little bit later today. But really, we're going to lean into the ease the simplicity and the um, really versatility you can find with stenciling and then layering with photopolymer. How about you, Mr. JC? What are you doing? Yep, I have um, the most recent February release from 2021. This is the Friendship Blooms stamp dye and layering stencil set. Um, and I'll just, if I can quickly shout out Alex Siberia. I've worked with her quite a bit on other designs. So it's it's been magical using her designs again. I really her style, I feel like, matches sort of what I like to see in florals. So yeah, it's been really easy to work with the Pink Fresh Friendship Blooms on this case. Awesome. And as usual, I thought it would be very fun for us to go back to something that worked so well during our last Laura Basson episode. We decided to bring games back into the craft hour. Leah, Heather, Kennery, and myself have always wanted the craft hour to be just a little bit different. And so we have another game coming. It's called uh, Dudes Craft 2. How about that? That was really original. You know an alphabet game. You start with a group of people and you start with the letter A, go to B, C, and D, and you have to name certain things starting with that letter. Well, today, JC and myself are going to lob back and forth the following. We're going to always give a dude. So if it's the letter A, you could start with Abraham Lincoln. B is going to be a craft, craft item. And then two, we're going to flip it to TWO, a pair. So A, B, and C. We'll go through the alphabet. We'll zing them back and forth. And uh, you can follow along and play in the comments. And in fact, we may have to lean on you. But remember, JC, the whole point of the game is for us to not have to give up on the letter and pass it back. All right? Yep, sounds good. Sounds good. All right, I'm heading back to my desktop. And uh, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to start stenciling. You start stenciling too. What's your first step on your project? Yeah, I'm going to start with, sorry, let me move these out of the way. I have my A2 size cardstock. I, I just love aligning it on the grid. Ooh, let me zoom in a little bit here. It's a little far. Is that better? Yeah. Okay. And I like to tape her down since we'll be using the same cardstock right to my craft mat. Um, just trying to make sure I don't cover up the open area of the stencil. So I'm going to pick here. And here, just with some washi tape. And I'm going to do the same thing. I like to do the um... Heather Hoffman technique, which is to get it a little more free so that I can move it around. I'm not as confident to keep it directly to the mat. So I'm gonna do Heather's technique, but we're trying to demonstrate to you that it can go both ways. To do that on my end, I'm just gonna start with a piece of tape at the top, a piece of tape at the bottom, and I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over and use those handy alignment grids that are in the corner, as well as the first stencil, stencil number one, and align it perfectly. Probably get a little bit of my bald head in the camera shot for just a second. And then I will seal it down. 
as I prepare for the leaves. Yep. And you triple double down, which is probably why you're better at this than I am. Look <laughs> at that. You are locking her down. She's not going anywhere. <laughs> yep. She's not going anywhere. Um, I do like to, you know, give myself a little hinge if possible, just, just to check. So that's why I like to do at least the top and the bottom area and try to keep my paper underneath on the sides. So um, as you could see, I'm choosing a very uh, simple colorway here. Classic colors, uh, very bright. It doesn't have the dreamy effect on my two examples that I necessarily wanted. So I reached out to JC um, before the show and asked him a way to make it just a little bit dreamier. We'll talk about that from a technique perspective. But I want to give a shout out, shout out to our fellow designer and friend, uh, D. D took the time to walk me through some colors this morning and I just couldn't get them the way that I wanted. So I stuck with uh, these originals. I will show you the color palette as we move along. But when you think about the dreamier look that you're known for JC, what do you know for sure, no matter what inks uh, or what project you're working on? Uh, let's see. Uh, I guess I try to just go, I try to go for a mood if anything, um, you know, it, I always try to leave a good impression when it comes to some of these designs. So I, I'll be honest about this. Like I, I really don't confess this much, op much often, but when I try to make these cards is, I try to think of some, of course, somebody to give it to, but love is a really powerful emotion. And so I think of how do I evoke that in this sort of design? And I think a lot of people relate to that at least um, when I pick certain colors or certain moods that, how I want the card to feel, if that sort of makes sense. I kind of just <laughs> word vomited that, but yeah. Sure, but like more of a, the ethereal look. All right, I'm yeah. gonna start with the leaves on my end. Uh, my first color that I'm using is mint. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. I will tell you that the uh, more that you get started, uh, the more um, factory build you start feeling. And before you know it, you definitely have your uh, momentum behind and you can really pop up, pop out a lot of these cards um, with ease. Right. Look at, yeah. look at that pink fresh, um, that little foursome there. Those ink cubes look fantastic together. Look at that. Yeah. I like that they coordinate together. So there's no question about, well, what really works. You know, you just sort of go down the line and follow your layering stencils and it's really easy to build layers and a lot of color. But in this case, I like to mix up um, different color families to get a more realistic look. So I'm ink blending in various areas and in the perimeter of my stencil. Um, I'm starting with the lightest shade. I think this is, oh, what is this? Coral Reef. And I'm using an ink blending brush. Uh, people are better at this uh, um, foams than I am. I, I have to use the brushes. I, I definitely ink blend too hard for, for an ink blending foam. We have a request on my end to zoom in just a little bit on this. So I am going to try to do that. So bear with me, everybody, as I stop producing for just a second. And let me see how I can do that for you. Oh, geez. Uh, I just noticed it keeps going out of frame. Is that focusing better now? I think. Okay. Friends, I don't know how to zoom in for you. So I'm going to have to let me see if I can just lower the camera just a little bit the old fashioned way instead of the technological way. Friends, that's the best I can do and host the show at the same time. I'm sorry, I'll take that note for the future. All right. So really quick, um, remember JC and I are doing two different designs. Um, so there are five stencils in mine. How many stencils do you have on your end, bud? Yep, it's five as well. Um, three for the flowers and two for the foliage. Great. Now, uh, Dee taught me a little technique, and this is something that makes the uh, versatility work for you. The next layer for me is the veins that you find in the leaves. I found that the veins were a little thicker than I wanted for this ethereal look, but the best thing is, is that you can make that choice. I'm gonna pick up the veins in the photopolymer stamp just a little bit later. So for this particular stencil, don't have to use it. So I'm gonna skip stencil number two um, and uh, move on to the flower. How about you? 
but I, I was actually going to do the same thing. Uh, I didn't want too much saturation. Again, I'm going for a certain mood, something very airy, um, something a little bit more romantic. So you can see, I don't ever really fill in the entire area of the stamp. I think it's really tempting to sort of fill in the middle, but I've focused my ink around the perimeter, even on this smaller flower. I won't do this uh, medium-sized flower for my project today. So it's just these two, and again, inked just around the outside in the li lightest inks in the set of four. Great. So when I was uh, reviewing my color choices with Heather, uh, who is again our moderator in the sky, so be sure to say hi to her, I chose blues, and I think that I'm going to uh, try to achieve both today. Her project recently did pinks, uh, which um, and she does an amazing uh, technique here, and I think I'm going to try it. And that's where Heather taught us that we can mask off two of the flowers and get double the punch on color. So that is what I'm going to attempt. Will I do it as well as Heather? I don't know, but I'm going to give it a try. <laughs> Primary color for me on the main bloom is going to be coral reef. And everybody, I um, haven't checked in on the comments yet. I promise that I will, but we're going to go ahead and start playing our game. Uh, we are going, would you like to start with the A or do you want me to go first and um, go from there, bud? What do you think? Hmm. Well, I guess you're the host. Let's, uh, I guess I'll have you go first. <laughs> okay. So A is going to be, again, a dude. Uh, so uh, that means that you have to um, have a dude. So for me, I'm going to go with, Ansel Adams, the uh, photographer and artist. That lands you B, and your B has to be a craft-related thing, item, or something craft-related. Well, ironically, I guess I'm blending, so that will be my B for crafting. Ooh, good one. B for blending. That's <laughs> awesome. Heather also taught us that in this circle here, we're going to start with a little bit of pressure in the center, working our way out to make more of an ethereal look. That way the uh, boldness of the center of the color remains for the shadows that uh, would have at the core of the bloom. All right, so that uh, puts us to letter C and that brings us to a pair, something that is a duo, T-W-O in this example. I am going to uh, go with uh, cherries, because when you see a cherry, it's typically two little cherries. So C, cherries, which brings us back to A, which has to be a dude. No, I'm sorry, A, B, C, D. D, that has to be a dude. I'm sorry. Mm. Well, I listen to a lot of hip hop, so my D male name is going to be Drake. <laughs> oh, good one. See, you've got this. You've got this game down pat, man. All right, really quick. I've got to get another piece of tape to cover up. I'm going to actually use post-it tape, which is what Heather used in her example. So we'll cover that up so I can get some blues. Okay. And I'm gonna go with the lightest blue in my collection here, which I'm moving over to sky blue. I see you've introduced a secondary color. What you got going on? Yep, this is the third darkest color in both of my red and, oops, sorry, they've been out of view this whole time, um, in the uh, pink fresh layering sets. So I had Berrylicious and Clementine. And again, I'm just following where I placed random splotches of color throughout my flower. Um, and I'm still trying to bring that concentration less towards the center of the flower so that I have um, more of an open space in the middle here. Where did you get uh, this? I, I know I asked you briefly, but I didn't catch it because we moved over to science. Where did the artistic side of your life come out? Did you Were you an art major? Did you do art design? Uh, uh, none of that, actually. I, I don't know if it was just... Um, you know, as a kid, I was never really, I never really grew up in an artistic family, um, even though my, both my parents were secretly creative and they never told me. And <laughs> so um, I did grow up learning music and playing piano for about seven years. Um, so I did get a little bit of a musical background, but as far as, you know, art, you know, I, I did get really lucky growing up overseas in various parts of the world. Uh, my dad was uh, Air Force. So you know, I feel like I'm influenced by a lot of culture as well. 
um, especially in florals. I, I, I try to think of Japanese florals in that sort of aspect, cherry blossoms and the art of bonsai. That's awesome. Um, well, YouTube is freaking out on my end. So I'm hoping that we still have a live broadcast. Heather, if you could check in with us, I'd appreciate it. I was trying to reach into the comments and say hi really quickly. Hope things are going well on your end. You're watching the craft hour. We're playing a game. We're crafting with stencils. Life is good. Uh, and I see a lot of you in the comments. I just want to take a chance to say hi to Roberta, who's always so supportive to us. D, who helped me with my colors this morning. Um, Alana is here and Teresa Ross. Uh, so uh, Donna loves your technique, always has, she says, which is great. Patty Effort is joining us. Um, uh, it's driving me crazy not to see the finished product. Patsy, we promise we'll get there for you. And Barbara assures me that we're still live. Let me get my live feed from, okay, good. It just must be on my end, which is good. Always get a little scared when we get that uh, circle spin of death. Uh, makes me wonder if we're, we're still live, but we are, we are. Why panic? Well, I'm not gonna panic. Let's keep moving on. We are the letter E and I have to do something craft related and I have to give it to my friends at Pink Fresh Studio. I'm gonna choose Evergreen as an ink. So that is my E. You used D for a dude for Drake, E, F. You have to do something that comes in pairs that are F related. Mm -hmm. Oh, geez. Uh, I'm all looking around my room. I am so good. Just kidding. At thinking on the spot. Um, <laughs> dang. <laughs> and I know the comments are like, I think the comments are delayed on the compared to us speaking. Um, yeah, just a little so bit. I can't really cheat either, can I? <laughs> so, <laughs> um, we can pause for a second. We can, we can uh, keep the game going. We're at F, something that is a pair F. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm doing a pair of flowers. Can I do that? Uh, two flowers can often come together. I, well, let's throw it over to the audience. Audience, stu Pink Fresh Studio audience, can we give him flowers for F? Let us know. We, we have to let the judges decide. I can't make this decision for you. <laughs> so JC, have you ever been able to head out to any um, craft convention, retreat, met fellow crafters, or are you all, are you a virtual participator right now? Well, right now you are, but yeah. um, Tell me a little bit about um, how you've been able to connect with the craft community. Most of the time it's been on Instagram. Um, regrettably, I, you know, have my YouTube channel and I wish, I just wish I had the time for that. But, um, you know, my full-time job has just really, <laughs> really just killed my creativity. It's taken a lot of my time. Um, so YouTube channel is on hiatus right now. And, but yeah, for the most part, I am pretty interactive on Instagram. Uh, I think my handle is on the bottom left of my view. Yeah, you can see it on your screen. Uh, so everybody, I just want to tell you about this particular one on this particular set. There is a little hang off tab in order to get that perfect um, art illusion of um, dimension. And so on this one, we're going to want to be really careful that when we take our brush, we don't pop it under. Now, the good news is we could use pixie spray in order to help here, but with a gentle hand and a way of working around, we won't trip up on that bit of stencil. That's purposefully needs to be there in order to make the illusion of the shadow, um, but we just want to be careful when we apply. Um, and everybody, I just want everyone to look to the left of their screen and see a very basic normal way of approaching the stencils and then look over at JC who is color blending, giving illusion, ethereal feels, all the vibes. That's why I'm just your host, ladies and gentlemen, because I'm just <laughs> following along. Meanwhile, everybody just keep watching JC screen for the real magic to happen. And I'll just be over here uh, coloring by number. It's fine. It's fine. I also like to use the ink blending brushes. I feel like that helps with, I also have that same deal with the stencils where I've got um, these uh, sort of, oops, these sort of floppier areas and the a light hand definitely and the ink blending brushes work much better for me. Yeah, I will say if you have not found uh, your perfect way of blending, for those of you who have been on the journey with me, you know that ink blending has just been more of a challenge for me. It's not been something fun and uh, I have been challenged with it. Even episode one of the craft hour, we purposely jumped right into ink blending. 
Um, but I will say that these guys are a game changer. It has made me much more confident. Um, and I really want to give a shout out to Pink and Maine for uh, these uh, changing, um, these bristle driven broom brushes because they really have changed the game for me, which has made me a lot more confident in how I go about this. All right, I'm just gonna try to clean up just a little bit without being careful of messing up the stamp. And I'm gonna cover up the main bloom on my end so that I can do the two tone technique that Heather taught us. How are you feeling on you? What, what's, what stencil number are you on? Give us a little bit of progress for those that may not be familiar with your stencil, my friend. Yeah, yeah. Um, so right now I did, so my layers are at one and three. I did a light layer and then a sort of uh, the second darkest in both of those sets. And I think I touched a little bit of the darkest on both of the ink layering sets. And now I'm moving awesome. on to the foliage. Yeah, and um, it's actually like a, just a little touch of Heather's technique is to do this sort of two-tone flower. You know, I don't really like to use a more solid layer on any of these open face stencils. So I do try to blend multiple colors within those layers, just for that ethereal and dreamy view that we're looking for. Yeah, you're giving us total mood. I love it. Sin, thank you so much for your comments. Sylvia is here, which she's always so supportive, which is great. I see a fellow dude crafter. I think I saw that Andy Granick was here. We're trying to get Andy on the show in the future as well. Our schedules just haven't aligned for that, but we will get him there. More dudes, the better. Um, I uh, Roberta says that she loves the mini size. They do look so great. They're so photogenic, the little minis. And uh, Janet wanted you to re review one more time what kind of scientist you are in the science field. Oh yeah, um, I am a medical laboratory scientist. Um, that's a certification that I am proud to boast. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'm able to do all sorts of medical testing if you're not familiar with my title. Um, anytime you've gone to the hospital and gotten your blood drawn, um, most likely I have touched that sample in one way or another. And I perform medical testing that your doctors or providers request. That's awesome. Well, yep. thank you again for your service. And I love that people are so excited. I think the one thing that uh, COVID, well, not one thing, let's be clear, COVID has taught us a whole lot, but it's taught us <laughs> how to uh, appreciate what the human experience needs in order to work, you know, and how we have to kind of all work together and uh, all the players out there who make it happen, especially in our essential workers, who knew that uh, we as a human race, we're going to finally wake up to um, our friendly cashier, um, and what they do every day or uh, what it's like to be the epitome of a frontline worker. So I love that we've kind of had an awakening there, you know? Yep, exactly. It has put a lot of things into perspective for me, especially. And by the way, I forgot to tell you that you were given a very clear thumbs up for your F, for your flowers. It was very clear from the judges that you are allowed to move on. I'm glad you did not lose the game on F. <laughs> I would have said, I would have said feet, a pair of feet. Oh my F. goodness. <laughs> and I think unless, unless, I have never seen you from the waist down, but I believe that you had that in the room right there in front of you the whole time. I did, but you know, right. they're under my desk. So I'm just going to use that as my excuse for not being able to see them right now. <laughs> uh. Awesome. Again, everybody, you're watching The Craft Hour. I'm your host, Jeff Lindbergh. So glad to have you join us. Uh, you know, it's a fun Saturday. Every single uh, time I'm with you, it's, it's awesome. And I love that if you're either catching this live or on the replay, you're having fun with us. It's so good to have all of you here. So again, make sure you participate, comment along, share that you're watching the show so that JC and I can interact with everybody that interacts with us. Makes it a lot more fun. We're playing a game called Dudes Craft 2, basically going through the letters of the alphabet, naming a dude, a craft item, and then a pair of something for two, but TWO this time. And we're using two different uh, sets today. Check out the comments for Heather to moderate where, uh, where, what products we're using and when they're available, which is awesome. All right, back to my desktop so we can get uh, moving along. I'm now on stencil five. You'll remember that I skipped stencil number two because I wanted to bring the veins of the flower in um, later with the photopolymer set. And I'm gonna try JC's technique of doing it with heat embossing and really giving it more of a um, dreamier ethereal look. Yeah. How about you? How are you feeling about it? You've moved over to your beautiful greens. What's happening on your end? 
Yep, I, I'm still in the solid layer. I've done both meadow and mint mini inks on this layer. And I'm just about done. I, I love to leave a lot of white space. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit more. I love to leave a little bit of white space, especially around the edges. Um, I, like a lot of people during quarantine, we've, uh, my partner and I have acquired many house plants. So I, I draw a lot of inspiration from uh, variegated and um, speckled foliage. In this case, I'm thinking specifically about the ficus lyrata variegate, uh, teneki. It's a variegated form of a leaf. And yeah, I just, it, it's everybody get that. Of... Everybody get, everybody get there. The scientist is talking. I hope you're all paying attention. I hope <laughs> you all took notes about the type of plants, um, the Shamalama ding dong plant and the, uh, aridated, um, mine tool plant is one of my favorites. He just, uh, whisked those out for us, ladies and gentlemen. And I hope you have your notepads out because yeah. <laughs> if you didn't, um, you, uh, can't go and oh, uh, turn shutting me down because I don't know science terms. Uh, in any case, I hope I hope you all caught that. We can now resume crafting. Thank you. If he does not win the game because he is so smart, then we're all losers. Okay. All right. Moving along. Uh, you were saying a bunch of letters. I don't know what you were talking about. There was something about plants. Then suddenly we were talking about species and <laughs> I lost my train of thought. What were you saying? <laughs> what? I just draw a lot of inspiration from different foliage. And in this case, one of the ones I was thinking about has a lot of these big white areas within their leaves. And that's where I just wanted to bring that into this card for at least this layer too. Yes, yes. Because I was wondering if you were going to be dealing with the kryptonitic um, species in your flower that I noticed on the subterranean um, <laughs> majestic profile of that stem. See, I can be smart too, which is awesome. Oh, okay. Where are we on Dude's Craft 2? What letter? We did E, F, G. It would be me. Pair goes to guy. So G. I'm going to do Guy Ritchie for my G for my guy. Guy Ritchie G. Okay. G H. So I think I have the crafty item, right? For H. You have the H crafty item. I love that we can think of something for somebody else, but when it comes to you, I blank. I'm like, uh. Oh. <laughs> Let's see. I think. Well, we mentioned heat embossing. I guess that's two words. Oh, but... nice. Yeah, heat emboss. <laughs> heat embossing. That's good. That's good. <laughs> All right, that's the magic that y'all were looking for. I love that with stencils, we could we could basically leave it there. We could even spritz some water on it, uh, die cut it, call it a day. But Pink Fresh has provided us with one more step, um, and that is for us to get some um, some outline going. So I'm going to peel off my scrapbook.com mint tape, which is very I've enjoyed getting to know better. I hope my friends at scrapbook.com are here. Um, speaking of, I should do a quick little plug. Um, our friends at scrapbook.com have got a great promotion. And as you know, they're great allies to us. We love uh, them. Uh, they are doing their uh, Share Handmade Kindness program. Be sure to check them out and participate. We're all crafters. We can participate in kindness. We're, we're good. Um, and hey, there's that. And then part two is that I'm participating in their uh, Life Handmade podcast. Uh, we recorded the episode and I'm super excited about it. I have no idea when it's coming out. Um, but if you want to get to know a little bit about me and Pink Fresh Studio, uh, as well as the other work that I've done, that podcast will be coming out soon. Oh, they are here. Scrapbook.com is here. So they can tell you. Ask them when the podcast is. I think it's late March, I think. All right. So now it's time to pull out the photopolymers, but look at all the options that you have there, the sentiments of choosing hope, um, your, hope your heart is happy, Hope I will see you, hoping and praying, get well soon. Um, and then, oh my gosh, you are feeling a little extra love today. So many great sentiments, which is awesome. But as you know, I need this main guy here to give us some outline. Friends, can I give a little shout out really quick? Uh, JC, have you ever met or talked to um, uh, Sylvia Schmidt? She's on our chat right now. Um, yes, actually. Has, 
a uh, funny story about Sylvia. Uh, I was, after I posted my story about joining you on the craft hour, um, it's caused a few sleepless nights. I've been so nervous to come on here. Um, <laughs> Don't but, say that because then that no more guests will come. I'm already having a hard time getting other people to join me on the show. <laughs> now that you're now that you're doing it, you feel better, right? Oh, absolutely. And, you know, and I sort of had to remind myself and Sylvia reminded me of this too. It is just like talking to a friend. You know, I haven't really seen a lot of people, of course, because well, one, it's it's COVID and two, uh, it's just been hard to get out because of my schedule. So, you know, uh, this is for the viewers. It's been one of the first times Jeff and I has have ever uh, talked in person. So it's just nice to finally just hear your voice and interact with you via the crafty uh, world here. So, yeah, I hope that's what Craft Hour does for a lot of people is connect people that haven't had a chance to meet. Uh, JC and I um, tried uh, to do my little uh, talk show called The Private Reserve Collection, where it's a um, series of personalized interviews with uh, craft industry's best. And um, I had to stop doing the show because I got called back to work. JC, of course, was on the front lines of um, getting a science savvy for COVID. So we weren't able to make it happen. So it's such an honor to have you on the show now, which is great. Yeah, especially but when I was good. with Pink Fresh. I know they bring us all together. Uh, hey, I wanted to say and finish my story about Sylvie. Sylvie, you guys, is such a, all the Germans are so kind to us. And Daniel Diaz, of course, is doing a fantastic job. Sylvie is a great crafter and creator as well. But um, Sylvie always sends a voice message after every show telling me that I did great, that I should keep my chin up and that we should keep going. She is such a motivator and I'm just so appreciative of that. But I want everyone at home to know that Sylvie that you see always sends me and my guest a, verse, a, a little small verse of hope via audio message on our Instagrams after every show. She hasn't missed one, which I think is just so sweet. All right, so I'm doing the lineup game here, and I'm going to start my uh, heat unbossing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Perfect. I opted you? for the outline, uh, just stamping it. So that's what I'm doing on okay. my end. All right. So I, um, I want you to remember that this design was intentionally supposed to be loosely based, which means that uh, we might have some. Um, we might have some crossover and that's okay. That's gives some of the ethereal look. Now, this is the part that I haven't rehearsed. As you can see with my trials, I'm doing what Dan, um, Daniel, I'm so sorry, Daniel Diaz maybe has done this, but my host, my, uh, my host, I'm losing it, ladies and gentlemen. My guest, JC, is just going to do a flat uh, impression uh, with um, ink. I'm gonna do a heat embossing, but we're showing you the different techniques, but I haven't done this yet. So let's hope this goes well. You've tried it though, and you've felt like it went great, right? Oh yeah, it went just fine. So we did heat tool, G H I I something that comes in duos. I'm gonna say ice cream scoops, two ice cream scoops. I don't know. If, <laughs> we'll let we'll let the people decide if that is um, if that works. Pink Fresh Studio audience, tell me, do I get a pass for ice cream scoops too? Kelly said it correctly, flowers are never perfect, which is great. All right, here we go. <laughs> Amanda Panda knows me well too. She's like, take a breath, brother, just do it. It's gonna be <laughs> fine. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that I definitely have the white this is Brutus Monroe, who um, I think does an amazing, if you haven't checked out his embossing powders, as you can see, I love it so much that I put it in a tub. So tell us how you're cho what color you are going to choose to do your outline in and uh, why that works for you and the look that you're going for. Yeah, I've got the outline stamp in mind and I just moved my stamp back in view. I, I try to concentrate colors around the outside again. What I'm doing is using my ink blending brush and I'm sort of bringing that ink towards the center again, just like I did on the shadow stencil, or I'm sorry, the layering stencils, just so that I get um, a sort of uneven line. I'm trying to fake as if I watercolored this. And this is how I do it with inks. 
Now, Kelly Roth is giving me a pause on my ice cream. So it's one scoop of ice cream. So Helen also agrees that it's stretching, but Kelly, I just want to say it doesn't have to be double I, it just has to be something that would come in a pair. And I just personally believe that ice cream, you can't just take one scoop. So it'd be two scoops of ice cream. But if you are telling me that that can't necessarily fly, I'm happy to rethink my eye. So let's give a final vote in the comments while I heat and boss. You can use this as the music. If I should be allowed to keep I. Julie Urban says that it can pass. JC, what do you think? It, can, can I have that for I? I mean, I can't just have one scoop of ice cream. I have to indulge. If I'm going to indulge, I want two. So. Okay, let me think. I do uh, two eyes. I don't know. I think I, I don't want to lose the game, but see, Amanda, ice cubes. There's more than one ice cube. We don't usually put two ice cubes. Hmm. People tell me that I can have double scoops. Two scoops is a go for me. All right. They're giving me a pass. I'm the host. I make the rules. I'm going to go ahead and go for it. Exactly. Look at that. Look, that's why JC's a pro. He said, just try white heat, um, heat embossing. And it's less literal. I love that. The literal, I could have used a gray. I could have used the outline of the same colors. But there's something about that white that is just making it feel a little dreamy and frankly, a little more pink fresh to me, which is great. Nothing wrong with the literal, um, the metropol metropolis that I used uh, for um, this particular flower, but there is something a little more dreamy about having that that textured white line there, which is great. Yeah, that looks All beautiful. Right. Okay. Do you think we're done with blending? So I'm going to pull the blender board off. And now it is time to die cut. How are you feeling on your time? I don't want you to feel rushed. I want you to know that we are about, um, I would say 18 minutes to the wrap of the show. How are you feeling on uh, your card time, brother? Oh yeah, I will finish up these few outlines. Um, it should take me just a second. And yeah, I'll be right where you are in die cutting in just a moment. Great. So what uh, would you say, you know, we have um, our, our, uh, our boss lady CEO, we have our leaders like Heather watching and we have um, the leaders from scrapbook.com watching. What would you say as a dude crafter that you have always wanted people or industries to know about what we need and who we are as a consumer? What would you say? What, what has been your Dudes Craft 2 movement um, thought about being a male in this industry? Yeah, um, I think at least for my personal sake, like I, um, I see a lot of great male themed stamps, but obviously you and I are both doing florals. I guess I'm just inspired by different things. Um, for me, I just, it's more of the exposure. Uh, it wasn't until I saw the dudes, ha uh, dudes craft to hashtag on Instagram that I noticed there were, uh, I thought I was, you know, one of the fewer, um, and it's been great to see other people sort of come forward and sharing their awesome, amazing, amazing card projects on Instagram. Um, like, like you mentioned earlier, Daniel Diaz, um, Del and Artie, uh, Daniel West, uh, Andy Granick, um, oh, there were so many, uh, Joey. The king and the prince, of course. We've got yeah. uh, Tim Holtz as the king and our prince of crafting, Simon Hurley, who's always oh, so supportive. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, who uh, And Joey, Joey, I think, did he design for Pink Fresh at one point? Um, yeah, it's, so many guys have started to come forward and it's it's been great to see so many people um, sharing the projects. And for me, that's the most important thing. I feel like that's what we need is just people to come forward and and share and share what they what they love making. Yeah. So I wanted to um, give a shout out to um, JC and a lovely care package that he sent. So I wanted to take a moment to show this beautiful grayscale card. I'm such a fan of uh, nuanced ways of presenting color and look how masculine this card is. This is a JC original. JC, uh, right before the pandemic started, 
uh, sent an amazing uh, note as well as a D stash. And uh, look at his amazing, look how fun his card logos are, which is great. There's details about where you can find JC and his handmade by JC Gaspar line, which is great. Tell me about uh, the um, art design in your logo. Yeah, um, again, like in, I'm very inspired by Eastern culture and that little guy on the back of my note cards, actually I have, let me just bring him back in. Um, he's called a Daruma doll and uh, basically he's a Buddha with one eye. And what you do is you make a wish and you fill in this eye. It's sort of a Japanese novelty item. It's like a statue. And when your wish comes true, you fill in the other one. And so this is sort of my handmade wish to you is I give you an opportunity to make a wish. And when it comes true, you fill in the other one. Oh, that's so beautiful. That's awesome. Yeah. And he's a Japanese guy. So a Japanese uh, Buddhist uh, novelty item. Got it. All right, I'm going to pause for just a second because if anybody takes a moment to jump over to any of JC's collection, you know that he is known for giving um, some texture and dimension um, by providing some splatter or some, um, you've done everything from buttons to um, jewels. Um, today we're going to review um, the uh, splatter technique, which is always fun. I haven't done it in a long time. In fact, it was Leah Lawson who taught me how to do that for the first time. So uh, while you are die cutting and moving on, I will let everybody play along in the comments and maybe we can get back to the game in just a little bit. Uh, I hear something about a per personal, um, I'm so confused where the deal is, whether you are male or female in crafting. Kathy, I would tell you that um, just because I have the opportunity in the platform to share it, I would say that sometimes it's not that we can't craft or we can't participate. It's finding items that, um, industry people think needs to be a tool, a um, toolbox, a map, a compass, but that's masculine. And I would just say that sometimes it's awesome when companies kind of yield the perspective to a broader paintbrush than just a wrench or a gear <laughs> as some of the male things. So that's just my point of view, but um, thanks for asking. Um, let's see. Yes, JC, that's awesome that he does that, which is good. Um, my personal pet peeve is masculine, feminine cards, not I send card cards. Got it. Teresa, I don't know what that means, but um, where you're saying it doesn't have to be other. It's just a beautiful card, right? And Teresa, I believe that. I think that it doesn't have to have a gender to it, which is awesome. Maybe that's what you mean. Um, hi to Jeff, JC, Leah, and Heather. Hi, Lori. So glad that you're here. Um, Teresa, industry needs to... Uh, Get a clue. That's right. We do color the same images at the end of the day. Hey, look, Kennery, Heather, and Leah have figured it out. They have uh, provided a huge array of items, which makes it easy. And that's why I love working for them, which is great. Show me what you got going on over there, Mr. Um, JC. What do you have as far as your die cut? Did it turn out okay? Yep. I am doing the last layer now. And I will start arranging. Now, I had to cheat a little bit because uh, this is the craft hour, not the craft day. And I can do <laughs> arrangement for about two hours. Anytime I have to design, I it's it's all of these little tweaks and I have all of these little nuances that I like to follow when I craft, uh, especially for florals. So um, I do have a pre-made arrangement. Uh, so I will start doing that and follow my, my cheat sheet, I guess. Awesome. Um, any, I'm going to go ahead and put it down to my desktop. If you could uh, look down for just a second, um, any thoughts? Um, I, I mean, I can absolutely figure out where um, I think things should go. I know that I'm going to leave a lot of white space, which is one of your signature um, way of working. I just realized yep. that this is crooked. I'm sorry. So I'm definitely going to leave some white space. Sorry, everybody. Um, but tell me about splatters. When you think about the colors that I have here, um, what splatter would you use? Would you use a black or would you use one of the colors? Give me an insight to your design. Yeah, I noticed that you've got some primaries going on, so red and blue. So I would follow the color wheel and maybe I would suggest a yellow. Oh, wow. Okay, awesome. Let's get out the yellows then. Yeah. See everybody, I'm learning. All right, do we want a deeper color yellow, a more orangey or a lighter yellow? Let's see. I think since your your flowers are nice and bold, and I really like that, I would go for something a little deeper. Uh, let's see, where did my yellows go for pink fresh? Um, so the two darkest that we have are more of the marigold and sweet mustard, I believe. 
Heather, feel free to IM me with a great uh, yellow. In order they go, Lemon Whip, Sunshine, Sunset Must, I'm sorry, Sunset Mustard, Sweet Mustard, I'm so sorry, Kennery, and Marigold. So yep. should we go the deepest Marigold or one up on? I like to go with Marigold, or I'll, I'll go with Marigold um, because uh, I like to dilute my inks when I do these splatter techniques, especially if I wanna coordinate. Okay. So I'm going to do Marigold 2, which is the deepest. I can already see it's going to be pretty. And this, friends, is a game changer. I'm already excited about this because for some reason, I feel like my card just came alive with this addition of a splatter color, which is great. So to protect this guy, I'm going to put it over to the side and uh, teach me, remind me how to splatter, my friend. Yep. My, my tricks, I, I like to use, this is why I like to use the mini ink blending tools. And I use just a, uh, an acrylic block here. And what I like to do is I just like to use the dye from it. So I'll give her a little smoosh on here to get some of the ink off. And then I'll use, <laughs> see, I've got my little, my little um, habits here, but I like to dilute a little bit with just two drops of water from my little water dropper tool. I think if you've got a spray bottle, I have one too. I, you can give her a little mist to hydrate her a little bit. And then let me get a clean water brush. That's not clean. Okay, here we go. And I like to use one of these just regular fine tipped water brushes. And I'll mix that ink up a little bit. And I find that all I have to do is it's going to go way out of focus, but I'm going to like do a to Kathy Zilski really quick. So sorry, uh, Hazel Harper would like to be in part of the show, and also the mailman is here, which is the most terrifying thing ever. So <laughs> Hazel Harper fans, you now know that she's in the show with us. Uh, so I'm doing a Kathy Zilski technique of taping down my um, base, um, and you're just you're going for it. So I'm going to go for it too. I have a little bit of a thicker brush. Um, Perfect. So And I kind of just like give her a quick tap and that's all she needs to give me. I like a lot of splatter. And so that's what I'm going for. It's going kind of crazy, but it does get covered up by the flower arrangement anyway. And I'm going to try to not, sorry, my, my, my head's going to get in the way because my hair keeps getting on these cards. So here we go. It's off. Um, yeah, just a lot of splatter on here. And I'm concentrating on where I want my flower arrangement to be. So I'm going on like the uh, left third of my cardstock panel. And that's the end of it for mine. Okay, there's mine. Beautiful. Okay, and are we doing a light heat on this? Because I have to stamp direct to paper, so I feel like I, I should do a light grazing heat. Yeah, I'm just going to set mine off to the side and get my flower arrangement ready. Friends, thanks so much for hanging in there. I'm sorry we didn't finish the game. We'll call JC the winner because he's smart and he he just riffed off a bunch of plant names in the middle of the show, which is good. <laughs> you know, the thing about the games, it was so funny. I was recapping some of the older episodes and I was like, am I going to have to sing like Laura, Laura Fedora? <laughs> no, my goodness. That is strict. Please. Anybody who wants to come on the craft hour, that was just a Laura treat. Yeah. She has, she has more confidence than I would. She wanted me to sing along with her. And I was like, no, I'm not singing along. <laughs> All right, friends. So uh, JC, I'm doing direct to is uh, if I feel like your style, I feel like so to give you kind of a concept here of what this is looking like. This is looking very JC, which I love. Um, so let me give you a little bit of a look at that. Would you do just a black um, sentiment in the corner there in that white space? Or would you do a color that's related to the card? Feel free I, to say along in the comments, everybody, too, what you would do. Yeah, definitely. Um, in my opinion, I would love to see a red sentiment so that your red, bold, big flower in the middle uh, is Great. mirrored by your uh, Pink Fresh Studio sentiment. All right. Sounds good. I'm going to choose Known and Loved. Uh, I'm celebrating every win, no matter how small. I'm still going to do Known and Loved. All right. Peel this out. 
Five minutes to go. Look at his Ken McGuire technique that he's got going on over there. Tell everybody this little technique. That's brilliant. Um, if I had a favorite crafty thing, it would be the press and seal all the time, every day, um, because I cannot do flower arrangements without it. See, I can easily pick her up and flip her over. And now I can apply glue or any sort of dimensional dots to the back and get her ready to go onto the dry card base. Or I, I go on a panel. Um, so I have my separate folded note card bases in the 120 pound version. So I can glue my background directly onto it. He's brilliant. And we love Ken McGuire. Speaking of everybody, I, th I think we're close to being able to tell you that our next craft hour may have someone in Ken McGuire's life that's in the show. So there's your second hit. Last episode's hint was that her name rhymes with Hennifer Jaguar. And now we gave a plug to the patent owner and scientist behind mm -hmm. Press and Seal, Ken McGuire. So I, I hope, I hope we're getting pretty close. I've, I've blinded by the comments. So you've impressed Kathy Z. When you impress Kathy Z with your brilliance about using uh, Press and Seal, you know you're good. <laughs> Everybody, Kathy Z, Kathy Zilski's episode of The Craft Hour just a couple of weeks ago, one of our, one of our highest rated, rated episodes. It's because she's the queen, everybody. Her and Laura Fedora, be sure to check it out um, in replay. It's totally available in replay. Love for you to comment along. All right, I'm going to look at this 15 times to make sure that it is sentiment savvy and ready. This is where we're headed, ladies and gentlemen. I will... Uh, Hold it up a little bit closer so that you can see where we're headed. I'm gonna remove this so I don't get it in the way. And I'm gonna get known and loved inked up. JC, we are at about three minutes. We sometimes go over, so that's okay, but I just wanted to at least get you a time check. Okay, perfect. I like a triangular arrangement. This is why I had to, I do, I have my cheat sheet here. Um, and that's what I really like is to have my uh, leaves frame my flower in sort of a triangle. And I do get it, that again from the art of bonsai. Um, so all of this is pretty deliberate and that's why it takes me so long to make a card. <laughs> so. All right. I may have gone too strong on the Berrylicious here. We're looking a little ketchup and mustard. So I might go back and redo this after the show, but I will at least kind of show you where we're headed. So I may not tape us down today, my friends, because I want to go a little lighter on both the marigold as well as the, yeah, we're a little too dark, um, but we're, we're gonna be good. So um, for all the designers out there, don't panic, focus <laughs> on the right screen. Um, but um, as you can see, I went a little too dark with known and loved. Um, let me frame my own self here so that I can see a little bit better about what I'm showing y'all. There we go. So uh, yeah, we're a little too bright on the yellow. So I'm gonna tone that down and uh, um, that's the best part. We can just redo this, still have this beautiful guy and uh, bring it down. But that's the direction we're headed. But I've got to land this plane, but I, I want you to know this is where we're headed. Do we like, which is good. All right, let's go back to, um, I don't know if it's a much better view, but we're gonna go back to my face and we'll keep JC on his sentiment as he lands the plane on his end. All right. Hey everybody, I hope you've been enjoying the craft hour with us. We've had fun playing with you. It's been a special episode for me because I've had a fellow dude on the show and another example of how hard it is to try to get two dudes featured crafting, which is awesome. Simon and I have had a chance to do that before, but an, a, a, a place to hold space with another fail, fellow male crafter means a lot. Look at that beautiful card. He is a true artist and he speaks Kathy Zilski's language because he knows about his layout. He knows where he wants to hold space, which is awesome. That's so fantastic. JC, great job, buddy. You want to come back to your front facing camera and we'll say goodbye yep. to everybody? Let me do that. All right. Awesome. My goodness. See, you had no issues. You did a card in an hour 
we uh, probably have both overthought it just a little bit. Uh, I hope you've been playing along with us because remember every time you comment or connect or share, it enters you for a chance to win a gift card at the end of the show. So uh, Miss um, Heather, our moderator in the sky, what do you think? Who is going to win today's card? Take a look out for that. And again, don't forget every other week, ladies and gentlemen, Saturday is 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. Tune in for the Craft Hour, where you, myself, and favorite uh, Pink Fresh Studio family and friends connect over the art of crafting. A little bit of conversation, some game playing, and more. Uh, I know that JC and I love to connect with each of our followers. JC, where can people follow you? Yep, and my handle is, oh, let me see if I can point to it. Here, right here, um, yep. on the bottom left corner of the screen. Uh, at JC Gaspard Instagram. I've got a blog as well. Um, find that on my uh, link tree over on my Instagram. And I hope one day I can start my YouTube channel again and get some content for you guys. But yeah, those are my three platforms. Awesome. And oh my goodness, Sylvie, you got the random selection. How funny. I'm gonna have to say everybody's name now. <laughs> Congratulations, Sylvie. Sylvie's creative world, Sylvie Schmidt. That's awesome. Much deserved, ladies and gentlemen. Let's proudly hand the $15 gift card over to her. You watch the show every week, so you know the rules, Sylvie. Send a note to Leah at pinkfreshstudio.com and give her just a couple of days. That's Leah with no H as she says, and uh, she'll send you details on how to share that. JC, isn't that great? She's so supportive. So for her to win, that's a big deal. What a blessing. Great karma. <laughs> awesome. Do you uh, want to say anything geeky and scientisty and and savvy before you go? You want to uh, geek out one I'm more ready. time? <laughs> I put that away when I make cards. So, you know, that's yes. all I got. Yeah. <laughs> uh, really quick before they go, what is JC's cheat sheet? What does that mean? So you were saying, JC, that you uh, did this before. You you, you pre-thought about it, right? Yeah, I did. I have several iterations of this. Um, oh, uh, so this is the one. I'm sorry, which one is the one I just made? This one. This is the one I just made. And it just I just had to follow the layout because... It's that'll be this will be too long if I try to do explain all of that in an hour. Or so, yeah. Can all. we review the reason that I'm the host and learning so much is that <laughs> I um, did one card and I can't show it and it won't be your Instagram ready because I'm going to have to redo it. Meanwhile, <laughs> JC did three. Yeah, <laughs> there's that. <laughs> JC, you crack me up. Dudes Craft 2, thanks so much for joining us. Everybody, you, thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. Tune in a week after next, where hopefully if all the planets align, somebody who knows Ken McGuire and has a name that rhymes with Hennifer Jaguar. Not ringing a bell. Not, not a clue. I agree. <laughs> thanks, everybody. Enjoy your afternoon and make it a great day. Thanks for using Pink Press Studio products, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.